Alright, aye, shalawam, shalawam, first and foremost. I want to give all the honors, the praises, and the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior. His name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahav Akar Kwadash. I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, and honors to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved. I just found something. This is the thing I love about London. London is full of architecture. We're going to quickly do this hit and nod winning. This will be edifying. We're going to go into Revelations. All right, we've got Revelations 1, 20, all right? And it says, Baba Kasha, you know what? Let's start at 19. And I saw the beast, right? And the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. So who's this beast? The beast is what this kingdom, right? This is what the beast is, right? I'm gonna go into this um, picture as well, this carving right here. And it says, the beast and the kings of the earth, which are what, the rulers, right? And their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat upon the horse. So who's that? Yahabashai and the elect, that that's who they're making war against. All these people with spirits upon them, that's who they're making war against, right? And it says, Baba Kasha, and sat on the horse and against his army and the beast was taken and him and the false prophets and wrought miracles, right? Before him that which had deceived them, that have received the mark. And that mark is known as the RFID chip. And that's what a lot of people are gonna receive. And this is what this beast is implementing. And them that worship the image, right? And it says root miracles, which he had deceived them. So this beast is out here deceiving people, right? That's why you got people stalking each other. That's why you got people doing reprobate shit because they're deceived by the beast. This system and the beast is the system, right? And it says them that worship his image, these were both cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. And the remnant was slain with the sword of him that sat up on the horse. Because you're going to have martyrs in this truth. With proceeded out, right, of his mouth. And that's why you got them beeping. That's why the cars are beeping. Because they're trying to throw you off. Because they are part of the beast. Right? It's like people, they've already got the chip. Right? <laughs> and it says, and all the fowls of the air with their flesh. But I want to go to the main point. This image you see here is what? Michael, right? It's supposed to be the image of Michael. The Archangel, you see the wings, right? And the beautiful thing, he looks like a dark-skinned man as well. Look at the nose, look at the features. And he's got scales in his hands, which represents the balances and justice, right? And he's got a sword and he's slaying the dragon. All right, this is heavy architecture here. Bear me just a minute. This is some heavy architecture. So hold on just a minute. Go to Daniels. This is this proves this is the B system. This proves, right? Come on. So we got Daniels. Hold on. And I hope you're being edified. Daniels twelve. Hold on. So this is Daniels twelve, right? This is Daniels twelve, and at that time. Michael shall stand up, the great prince. So, Michael, that's the image you see on here. This is Michael, the angel Michael, right? And he's one of the angels, right? And in the Hebrew, his name is Michael. And you got him slaying the dragon. And the dragon represents the beast. This is the beast system. Yeah, this is symbolism. That's, that's the angel, Michael, in the Bible. And he stands for war. Okay, so this is, this is beautiful history, right? Michael. And it says, this is Daniel's 12. And at that time, Michael shall stand up. The great prince, right? The prince Michael Allah, which shall stand for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, right? Such as never was there since there was a nation. So the angel Michael Allah is gonna stand up for us and fight. This is biblical, man. This is all biblical, right? I'm getting excited, excuse me. There shall be a time of trouble, Jacob's trouble, which we're approaching. Such as was never since there was, was a nation, even the same time. 
And at that time, thy people shall be um, delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. So we hope to be found written in this book of life, right? See, this this way you got to pay attention to architecture and all these signs as well, because it's in there. Now we're going to go back to Revelations. All right. Now let's go back to Revelation 20. And this is when Satan was bound. Okay. Revelation 20. And I saw an angel come down from heaven having the key of the bottomless pit. It doesn't tell us what angel that is. And the bottomless pit was Europe. Right. And the great chain was in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon. This, this, there's the dragon. This is that serpent. Right. The beast. And this represents a nation. It represents Esau, right? And it says, and Eddie's hold on the dragon, the old serpent, as you see that right here. Michael's got the, the angel's got um, the serpent in subjection. The old serpent, which is the devil, which goes back to Genesis, right? And Satan bound him a thousand years. So this represents the bounding of Satan for a thousand years, which is driving the dark ages up to What's it? 1600s when they came back into prominence and cast him into the bottomless pit, Europe, and shut him up and set a seal up on him that he should not deceive the nations. No more. To the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loose a little season. So he was loosed, right? So this is, this is it. This is the angel Micah Allah. And you have the serpent that's under his feet that's being thrust through with a sword. And you have the weight, the balances, the scales, which is the scales of justice and judgment. Because Yahweh told us to practice what? Judgment, mercy, and faith. So we're just going to go shut off here. And until the next time, shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom. <laughs>